excited to be here with you all today uh, and continue the conversation on year-end planning. So our two topics this month we've been kind of dabbling into has been fund development and year-end planning, and I'm just excited to have this conversation with you all. If you missed any of our previous session, I definitely encourage you to go back into the guide section and check them out. So this week, I've had a few different leadership programs going on, and that's what kind of triggered the conversation that I'm going to have um, with you all uh, today. So uh, I am in Michigan, so all our Michigan um folks tuning in. Hey, I'm in your cold town. Um, you know, y'all know I'm used to all the heat and Florida weather. So I'm in your freezing town, but loving every moment of it, especially as I go through this um, leadership journey. So something I thought I'll talk about when it comes to year and planning is truly thinking about our um, individual professional development and the professional development of our team. So as we're looking into what next year would look like do you have um, funds allocated and built into your budget in order to have time for professional development individually, along with your team, along with times to get together? So your staff retreat, your board retreat, looking into what does that look like for the next year? And we cannot forget about those things because one thing as a organization, you want to continuously have your um your 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 ears to the streets your um i, I want to say your your finger on the pulse of the community knowing what's going on what's changing what's evolving and being able to know the best practices to implement within your organization so as leaders i encourage you all to take a moment and think about what does that look like for next year for us um reflect on the past year what did that look like last year um what do we do what did I participate in so that I can be a better leader within my organization and um, help uh, lead us to the next level? And what did our team participate in? Um, what kind of educational opportunities did they have in order to um, continue to increase their skills? And if you feel like we've had a lot of those opportunities and you might have reoccurring um, conferences and different um, trainings that you all participate in, absolutely great. It's still good to take a look at. Is there things that we need to trim off and maybe focus more as we kind of look at our strategic plan for the um, next couple of years? Do they still, these type of trainings and professional development help aid in that? Um, do they align with our mission? Do they align with where we want to go as an organization? So taking a look at what um, for the past year, what you've participated in. Come up with some goals and objectives, your SMART goals, right, around what you would like to accomplish out of the next professional development and training series for your organization. So take a look at that, jot that down, um, and, and definitely, you know, look for opportunities that align with that. Assess your current leader, leadership skills and gaps that you have within the organizations. I know there may be areas. It's always said that you are only as good as your weakest link. Is everyone strong in their leadership ability? Is there some additional um, resources that's needed to help uh, grow your team? Take a look at that as you plan the year end. I know we're looking at so many different areas, but don't forget about that area. Another thing is as you build your budget for the um, next uh, year, are you building in funds to be able to support your um, your training plan and your learning plan for your organization? This is a great time as you get ready to um, adopt new budgets to make sure that you build that in. Um, look into individual development plans for your team and yourself along with other leadership development plans that you all can take advantage of. Is there mentorship and coaching that we need? We need more of a customized approach, someone to be able to take a look at our organization and truly work alongside us, work alongside our leaders, do some executive coaching. Um, consider that when choosing uh, what learning looks like for the next year. Um, how are we gonna regularly check in? 
um, with our teams to know that they're on track with their learning growth. What does that look like for my organization? And then celebrating your achievements, um, planning what those celebrations look like. You know, we're going through this training series. We are implementing these things. We have our um, executive coach working with us. We're setting certain goals. We're looking at our strategic plan and we have milestones within that. As we meet that, when are, when are our teams getting it together to celebrate? Um, so those are some things I just encourage you all to look at when you um, look at year end planning. So not just looking at, you know, our um, our overall marketing efforts, our overall fundraising plan, but our overall um, how are we investing in ourselves? How are we investing in our team so that we can go to new heights in 2024? So I'm not going to stay too long before you all today, but I just want to give you all that. Um, to think about, and I'll continue to kind of tap into that conversation along with some additional areas when it comes to your end planning throughout the year. So I hope you all have a fabulous day, and I look forward to seeing you all next week. Bye, everyone.